All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, well something you've uh, we all we all know we're all familiar with negative number times a negative number equals positive. But what uh, probably never really thought why and just accepted it. Well, well let's just uh, take a look at this. Here, let's say we have just uh, a number. Let's say uh, three. Okay, if we look at it this way, let's say we draw a scale here. We'll draw zero here. This is positive three. So this is uh, positive three, and one thing um, that you should know: every number, uh, every number, if you add a negative to it, so every number, it has a um, has an opposite or negative of it. Negative. So, for example, three will get uh, the inverse or the opposite or negative will just be negative three and that would just be here so all it is is there's three and there's negative three and uh, so then the opposite of negative three would just be negative and this would be this is just kinda how if you look at it so right here is a negative or opposite so in here we denote, denote the opposite we just put a negative that's what you could also look at it that way. So then this is negative, and then that, that'll be 3. Okay. So let's consider this now. Okay, so let, let's just uh, consider multiplication. Let's go 3 times 4. This is, you could uh, use um, summation. This will just be 4 plus 4 plus 4. Uh, without 3. So 4, this is just, yeah, this is uh, 3 times. 3 times. So 4 plus 4 plus 4, and this is just equal to 12. So let's say uh, if we compare this, this is just all positive numbers. Let's go with uh, add a negative here. Let's go four times negative four. This could be this would be the same thing. I'll just have negative four plus uh, negative four plus negative four. And yeah, so all we're doing is adding these negative fours or just subtracting. So this will be negative twelve. And another way you could do this one is this could also just equal. You could just take that out. You could just go three times four, and then you'll put that in there. It'll be th negative twelve. Okay, so you could do it that way. But then let's say we have a negative here. Negative three times negative four. Uh, what we could do here, we could just take this negative out. We'll just leave, make it, and then do the insides. So negative. And then this again would equal this stuff. This would be negative 12. So you have negative, negative 12. And what we could show in here, every number has an opposite. Just or opposite or negative of it. And this would just be, so even if we do it on the negative one, we'll just flip it to that side. So this one will get 12. So we saw, and then it's from looking at it this way, you could see that why the negative times the negative is 12. Or and let's consider, uh, let's say we have something like this negative three or yeah divided by negative three this is this is just uh, similar to let's say any number any number divided by an itself or I'll erase this or itself is just equal to one so we'll have negative three over negative three equals to one there's the negative is out of there but you could also rewrite this as negative 3 because you, you know any number divided by itself is 1. So then if you do this, this will just be times negative 1 over 3. And here is a negative times a negative. This just equals to 1. And so from, from here, we'll have, well, this one shows negative times negative. Negative times negative equals positive. So we've shown there's there's many ways of looking at it that this actually do, is tr like does make sense. Well, is this an opposite of it or if you look at it like this, you'll get that. And now let's say if we were to look at an example just to uh, you know, more solidify what negative times negative is is positive. Let's say we have uh, we have $4 we have four dollars, but we owe someone, let's say, owe eight dollars. Owe eight, but we'll just say, uh, we'll, but we'll consider this as negative eight. 
and if we get the net balance so net balance would just be 4 minus 8 then this would equal to negative four dollars I'll just rewrite this okay so let's say we owe this let's say that person cancels that uh, payment let's say we I don't, don't owe anymore for some reason Yeah, don't, we don't owe any more, so then we'll just be like, we'll take this 8 out, this negative 8 we'll take out. So our net balance is equal to negative 4. So now we're going to remove or subtract this negative 8. And, and we know that if we don't owe any more, we're just going to have net balance 4. So it has to equal to 4. It has to. That's uh, net balance. Or that's how much we have. So it equals to four. So from here, you can see that minus minus a. This is just this this uh, would just be negative four. What is it? Plus eight. Plus eight. Or yeah, and then so we'll have negative times negative eight. This is eight. So there's different ways of looking at it. this. Is just equal to four. So basically, this is like a real world example. Like it ha This is just kind of how it is. It has to be negative. It's positive. It's just more of looking at it and if you look at it this way any number divided by itself is one so if that's the case then negative times negative it has to be positive and also here just it's just the opposite and if you and you can uh, by just regular um, algebra you could re remove this you could see that it has to be you always ha always end up with this well that's uh, negative times negative is positive hopefully that cleared things up and um, well tune in for next time for another Map easy solution.